So Sourcegraph makes coding a lot more efficient and a lot more fun by making it easier to get and stay in flow and just build and create those magical sparks. But it's probably a lot more interesting to hear from our engineers and product managers about what we built. So here is Loic on our team to talk through our new simplified search. Over to you, Loic. Thanks, Glenn. Um, hey, everyone. I'm Loic. I'm engineering manager on the search product team at Sourcegraph, uh, where we work on code search, but also some other, other products like search notebooks, code monitors. I've been at Sourcegraph for about four years, and I'm calling in from Paris today. Um, so today, I want to talk about what we're shipping in Fort Auto on code search. But before I go into that, I'll give a little bit of background on why code search matters and why it's useful. So Sourcegraph code search allows you to get the answers about your code base that you need to get unblocked. It enables developers to get answers to their questions about code autonomously, whereas they might otherwise have needed to reach out to a colleague. And it's not always super obvious which colleague you'd need to ask. Um, developers can search across all of their organization's code with Sourcegraph, across all of their code hosts, without needing to have repositories checked out to their local machine. And sometimes that's not practical because some organizations have hundreds of thousands of repositories, so local search doesn't work in that case. Sourcegraph Powerful Search is super foundational to our platform, and it's the start of um, virtually every workflow in Sourcegraph. So code navigation, uh, creating a code insight, creating large-scale changes with batch changes, it all starts with a code search. So what did we build in code search for 4.0? Um, well, it all started with a problem statement. Uh, we received feedback from our customers that our search interface was cluttered, was very hard to navigate, and that's a problem that we really took to heart because we don't want our interface to get in the way of our users accessing the information they care about, um, which is their search results, um, the code on their instance. So we really saw an opportunity to make our search homepage more, more useful, more helpful to first-time users who are getting started with the product and to remove clutter through our, throughout our search UI. So what did we build to solve this and how did we build it? Well, we set out to review customer feedback to, first of all, validate that need to streamline our UI and identify the areas where we could make the most impactful changes. We did competitive analysis and we reviewed the UI of competing products to inform our design choices. And based on that, we designed the streamline experience. And having designed it, we went the extra mile to validate it. We did user research. Uh, we watched users interact with the old search experience and the new search experience. And we used our findings to iterate on that new experience and make sure it really worked well for our users. So with that, I'd love to show you through it. So let's jump into the demo. So this is the new search homepage for Sourcegraph in 4.0. Um, it's much more streamlined. Um, there are some new filter chips under the query input, which replaced previous components that were very complex and did not provide a lot of value to first-time users. And we really wanted to help um, our first-time users get to a success moment faster. These filter chips are populated with real data from the instance. So real repository names, real file names, real authors. Um, they'll, help, they'll show relevant data, data that you know, and will help you understand how you might use filters to compose search queries. And as you compose queries using these filter chips, we'll show you relevant contextual tips to add more filters to your query, help you understand uh, the power of Sourcegraph search. Um, so let's look into our search results page once you've composed the query. So the search results page is again, much more streamlined. Our search sidebar moves to the right side of the screen to place more emphasis on the results. We've removed a lot of non-essential UI elements, have much clearer content matches with really access to additional matches within a file. Again, to just place the code front and center here and um, better display of information on the sidebar with clearer display of languages and file types with, to help you filter your search further faster, filter your search down uh, better. Um, and you can go even further in streamlining our search UI because that search sidebar can now collapse. Um, so users uh, who know how to compose their search query without uh, needing all of the filters that the sidebar shows um, can collapse it, uh, which is very useful for Power users so that they, again, just see only code and are not distracted from their search results um, and will remember that setting. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you today. Um, thanks again. 
Awesome. Loa, thanks for sharing that. That is a huge improvement as a user. I've already benefited from that and I'm so excited to get that in the hands of a ton of folks. So anyone watching can submit a question. Uh, I'll start out with this one. What's going to be the most surprising new thing for someone who's already a user of Sourcegraph if they're getting on the new version? I think the most surprising thing is that such homepage showing you actual data from the instance and those filter chips instead of kind of examples that were completely abstracted from any instance specific data. So seeing real repository names, real file names, real authors um, will really help you kind of understand what those filters do, intuit how you might use them because they will be data that you know about, data based directly on your organization's code. Cool. And how does it figure out what search filters to suggest? I saw some of the names and repos on that new homepage. Where does it get that from? That's the really cool thing. Um, we actually get that using Sourcegraph search directly. So we just run a search query for one uh, diff search result. And from that diff search result, we get the repository name, a file name, and the author. And we use that to populate the filter chips. So the Sourcegraph search homepage is populated with Sourcegraph search. Cool. I think diff search is such an underappreciated part of Sourcegraph. It is so helpful to be able to search through the changes when something broke. You're trying to figure out you know, what broke or what's the history of this. So I'm excited in particular about that being a lot easier for people to try out. So can you share with uh, everyone on Twitch and so on what's coming next in the roadmap for search? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there's one kind of big lens light change to search that is coming so soon that we're super excited about. Uh, we're coming, calling it smart search. Um, so Sourcegraph search, even though it's very powerful, is uh, not always super approachable. And we really want to make it easy for everyone to use Sourcegraph. Um, so with smart search, whereas previously, um, if you typed a query that was, for example, like several uh, patterns in a row, uh, meaning to search any combination of those patterns, like any order of occurrence of those patterns, previously that query would have changed, would have failed and given you no results. With smart search, we'll realize that the query is giving you no results, but maybe you meant to search for the terms in any order and not just that sequence of terms. So we'll run that search again and show you results for that old hand search. And we'll do that for a few different interpretations of a search query. Um, so basically trying to better understand user intent um, and showing results to people for the search that they probably meant to type rather than requiring that they kind of conform to a strict interpretation of our search language in order to get results from Sourcegraph. We think that's super powerful and it's going to get, help a lot of people get started with Sourcegraph much easier. Yeah, cool. And I see someone in the chat say, is that kind of like, uh, did you mean this in a search query? Exactly. Um, it's actually, it, it goes further than Google's did you mean. Uh, it runs the search directly. So it's Google like, hey, we, it's it's the same thing as when Google directly runs um, an alternative interpretation of your search, shows you the results for that alternative interpretation, um, and then tells you like, here's what we actually ran for this search. You can turn this off if you want, but um, here are the interpretations that actually showed your results here. Awesome. Well, I am really excited about that too. We've been using it here. It's behind a feature flag and it makes it so much faster when you get stuck while coding to just get to the answer. You don't need to figure out what's the exact query you type. Sourcegraph does a much better job of understanding what you mean and getting you the answer. So all in the theme of becoming a code intelligence platform and helping devs find answers instead of just matching lines in code. Well, um, everyone, you know, please join on our Discord, share feedback about this, about anything else. Uh, you've got you know, all of us that built this on and we are listening. So thank you. And, and thank you, Loic. That is so awesome to see. 